In this video, we will learn about importing custom art assets for Unreal Engine 4 and its LODs. So let's get started. For this project, I have taken first person shooter template for us so that we can test both character collision and the projectile collisions for us. So let's get started. So what I have done, this is the content folder where you can create different types of folder and arrange your files and this is where you can see your files you, which you have imported in Unreal Engine 4 so I have created a mesh folder here and now we are going to right click let's import our mesh so let's first import the highly detailed mesh for us so let's open it the things we have to remember while importing uh, anything in Unreal Engine art assets. So since this is a static mesh, we are not going to use any skeletons. Since we are having custom collision for our model, we are not going to generate collisions for our model. Since we have light maps, we have created. So we don't need Unreal Engine to create a separate light map channel for us. So let's deselect this. Then I don't want the materials to be imported from any other 3D softwares. I would recommend you to do the same because Unreal Engine materials are far much better than anything else. Then since we are not having any textures, I'm not going to invert those, import those actually. So this is going to be our settings for importing the objects. So let's import it and here this is our if you double click it, it will be open in its own viewport. So this is our uh, model where you can see these uh, violet lines. These are actually the collisions of our object. Then for the UV channel, you can see we have two UV channels. This is the texture channel and this is the light map channel for us. So sometimes uh, you have to go in static mesh settings and change the light map coordinates if you have multiple UV channels to set the light map UVs. So here you can change that. Then you can also select the light map resolution from here. For now I think 128 will do good for us. For the objects like larger buildings and cars you can go up to 512 or 1024 then we have made lod's for our object like i have said when the camera is closer our object will look in highly detail and as we go further it will be less of less polycom so in the lod set uh, settings if you switch it on let's see where we can import uh, so this is the base lod so let's import the lod's for our object so let's in the base already let's in the LOD import import LOD 1 then we are going to import our LODs so this one is our first LOD so that's imported as you can see I think there is a bit of a jitter or something like that let's see no other jitter okay then we are going to import our next LOD so let's import LOD 2 so this is our LED2 so that's also important so you can see here that there are three LEDs for us let's have their distance set so enable collision okay enable collision enable collision you have to manually enable the collision for all of them so that's it is now let's set in the LOD settings so there are uh, something like uh, in the LOD setting you see that uh, uh, auto compute LOD distance so it uh, Unreal will define uh, and how much distance you will see how much detailed objects so for now like this uh, at this close we are having LOD 0 in our viewport you can see so, and if I go farther away like up to this it goes to LOD 1 and some more further it goes to LOD 2 so let's have these distances uh, set by default for us so I want up to this distance that is 0.13 uh, I need LOD 1 
for point zero two I need LOD point zero two I will need uh, LOD one and at the distance of point zero zero four I would need LOD three to be LOD two to be imported in my viewport. So let's select up till this distance I think Z point zero seven. So let's uncheck this and set it so point zero seven high resolution then at this distance point zero two lod one and some more distance up till this point zero zero nine would be lod two okay so let's save this and let's just drag and drop our object in the scene so uh, making uh, custom collision also helps in placing objects in the scene how let uh, let's see as you can see here uh, my object is in the midair and if i want it to exactly uh, place in with the ground without any overlapping i just have to hit the end button and it will automatically get placed in the ground so that's how custom collisions help then let's make some copies to test the collision and we will also see it LOD sections here while we travel forth and back so we have it like this you can also have multiple copies by just I am copying it with uh, clicking alt on my keyboard having all press so you can see here it is in air so I just hit the end button and it will just get rightly placed down over these so let's test our models let's hit the play button so my up player is spawned and now you can see that our projectiles are getting deflected by the object so now when I am near it's highly detailed I go further it will automatically optimize itself so from like this distance actually it will be so you can jump on it and everything so that's how you make an custom art asset you can also stand on it <laughs> so you create custom art asset for Unreal Engine 4 these are the things you have to remember here you can see there are no problems with my light maps actually it is saying to build the light so let's build it for once and see what are the changes here so I'm going to just build light only so swarm connections or swarm will open and you will see the details of light building and its progression here in the side while you can walk over here so the light is building so you can see our lighting is now completely built and you can see there are no nearly no problems with it so you can see there are no seams no bleeds actually so that's how you build an art asset for Unreal Engine 4 and work with those work with LED LODs and how to import them so if you like my videos hit the like button if you want to subscribe and want uh, more videos upcoming hit subscribe button and i will meet you in the future voila